separating a mixture of salt and sand. How do we do it? Well, first, we take our mixture and we add water, H2O. What will this do? Let's give it a stir. leave it to settle for a while. Here's our mixture of salt and sand and water. What do we do next? Well, we take a conical flask, a funnel and a filter paper. The filter paper we fold into a cone. What's this technique called? Place the funnel in a conical flask. In goes the filter paper. Remove the glass rod and pour the mixture into the top, into the filter paper. What do you see happening? Is the liquid coming through the filter clearer than the mixture in the beaker? What happened there? Don't be tempted to overfill your filter paper. It takes time. Here's our mixture after it's filtered. We've got the filtrate at the bottom and in the filter paper we've got the insoluble residue. Which is which? Well, the next stage is to try and get the salt back. And we do that by taking the filtrate and pouring into an evaporating basin. Remember not to overfill. We then need to heat our evaporating basin using a blue Bunsen burner flame. until crystals just start to form around the edge. Again, this will take some time. Well now, our mixture has started to reduce in volume. The water is evaporating. We've reduced the heat and we're just seeing a few bubbles form and some solid around the edge there. So we'll reduce the volume, remove the heat and allow it to crystallize. Here are two samples that we've done previously. In the porcelain crucible here, this crystallized slowly from a concentrated solution. Look at the size of the crystals there in the bottom. In the glass 
evaporating dish. This also crystallized from a concentrated solution, but rather quicker. Look at the size of the crystals there. Compare the size of the crystals. 